Well, 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 welcome back yet again for another fantastic day of reactions. And would you believe we are still up with the play, so to speak? No pun intended. Uh, we're moving the chains 10 by 10, and we're actually at number 28 today. 28 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players in 2022. It's Quentin Nelson, and when I think about Quentin Nelson, oh, 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 you know, all I think of is this ridiculously scary looking um, offensive lineman with uh, a real with a real dose, a real hefty dose of uh, under eye black paint. He's a guard, he plays for the Colts, he's been on the list before and he'll most likely be on it again because I think he's pretty young. But with all that in mind, let's get into it. Number one, his speed, his physicality when he gets his hands on you. He's a smart player for real, for real. That's there he is. Like about him, for real. It's Batman. For real, for real. Yeah, it's pretty damn consistent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Quinn's huge. I mean, just a huge human being. <laughs> he's, he's got cuts on his arms, which is not a good sign. Putting guys in the dirt. As in, look at the definition. The delt, the tricep, the bicep. And he's that size? One time in practice, I ran into him. He didn't flinch, but I felt like I, I got hit by a car. Like that's what you don't that reminds me of when Chad Johnson ran into the big man, Ray Lewis. He was a lot of big man. Go, son! Oh, look at the cornerback. He's like, please, please, no. Don't do it to me. No, a lot of big people don't want to run 30, 40 yards down the field because you got to line up again and go against the same yeah. people. He makes contact with his first block right here. Yeah, I will say the plays that the offensive linemen are, are, are um, expected to to actually run at top speed downfield, blocking for their uh, back or wide receiver or even quarterback. Um, that kind of play surely isn't called time after time after time. The, the coaching staff surely would have to mix it up a wee bit. You, I never considered that. You get to see his key and like, okay, he's gone. Who do I need to get to? And he's not searching. He's like, oh, I found my key. I'm going to go get to that person. That's what you really want to see in the offensive lineman that gets that full effort, that doesn't care. They're Bro, going look at the arch on it. Look at the arch on it. guy in that backfield. <laughs> he just ran like, he ran a 60-yard sprint. He's going to be absolutely gassed. What you don't want to see is a 330-plus man come get you. You see him back, Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Did you see me ahead of you? Yeah. I was all the way in the end yeah. zone. And you got caught. You're so up. <laughs> All right, 330 pounds, calling his wide receivers slow. Let's have a look at his stats. Nick Minnett. Quentin Nelson, 26 years of age, March 19th, 1996. Six foot five, no less, no more, 330 pounds. <laughs> okay, look, I might be reading out the pound value, but every time I do, I always look to the right and, and, and look at the, the kg value. And I, and I must admit, we haven't seen a player... That's tipped 150 kilograms yet. 150 kg. It doesn't bear thinking about. Uh, went to Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish from 14 to 17. Got picked up in the first round of the 2018 draft with pick number six. He's been at the Colts ever since. He's a three-time Pro Bowler. Uh, sorry, a three-time first-team All-Pro selection in 2018 to 2020. Last year, he, he dropped down a peg um, to the second team all pro selection but he is a four-time pro bowler in all four seasons that he's been in the league he's put on a few pounds he weighed in pre-draft at 325 pounds with a 4.62 40 yard shuttle a 7.653 cone drill a 26 and a half inch vertical jump eight foot nine on the broad jump and 35 reps on the bench uh okay we we don't have too many stats i could probably edit it if he had any tackles i mean being that he is a guard do they just play a game and start it surely not there's got to be another stat there has to be it is a fumble recovery there should be a new stat i reckon we should should we edit it no i won't do that i'm probably feeling a little bit too happy for my own good but if we are talking about stats for quentin nelson there should be a block a block stat anyway 16 games played 16 games started in 2018, 16 and 16 in 2019, 16 and 16 in 2020, 
But only 13 and 13 in 2021. Now, why was that? He needed surgery on his left foot prior to the start of the season. Recovery time was projected to be 5 to 12 weeks, but the doctors deemed that the injury was not as serious. In week 3, he suffered a, a high ankle sprain and was placed on injured reserve on October 2nd, 2021. He was reactivated on October 23rd. He became just the second player in team history to earn the Pro Bowl honours in his first four seasons, joining Alan Amechi receiving those honours from 1955 to 58. He also became the first offensive lineman in the NFL to do it in his first four seasons since Zach Martin uh, receiving the honours in 2014 to 17. And he is the first Indianapolis player to be selected to four consecutive Pro Bowls since T.Y. Hilton, again doing receiving the honours in 2014-17. to 17. The last Colts offensive lineman to be selected to four consecutive Pro Bowls were Chris Hinton and Ray Donaldson. Okay, so he's, uh, well, he's big. He can run a 60-yard dash, and he's an absolute blocking machine. Look at the ball carrier, and, you know, they're running with the ball down the field. He's running right behind them every time to help them finish the play. That's so good. And uh, be the first one to help them up when they you know, get tackled. He's a mauler, but he's also... And then straight back into the huddle. He's a team man. He's a mauler, but he's also he's also a team man. But what's he like off the field? You know, he's technical. Um, his fundamentals are great. You know, that's what makes him the kind of player he is. Yeah, when he get his hands on you, you're going to feel it for real. And he gonna be the, he's going to be like the every, every play, though. Like, he's not going to get up. He's an all-around good player, pulling, fast, sideline to sideline. All right, we got one there. Sometimes. Oh, mate. You see how he latched on? He He's still going. You don't see he don't, he don't. Surely most offensive linemen would stop. They'd be like, right, you got. I did my job. You've got past me. Do your thing. But he doesn't stop, does he? He's an offensive lineman rolling down the field like that. They're reaching. And when he get his hands on you, you're going for a ride. Looks about right. Going for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> It is funny. Thank you. I must admit. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> he's a physical player, and um, that's kind of his trademark. Is he's athletic and he can move and stuff, but he just physically wears guys out. I get fired up when I see him, when I see the pancakes. <laughs> Oh, bruh, can you imagine 150 goddamn kilograms landing on top of you? And you're meant to be the one dominating him. You good? Yes, sir. Yep. You good? I'm like, <laughs> I never let nobody do that to me. <laughs> After giving up just one sack in 2021, what a bloke. it's no wonder Quentin Nelson is the top ranked guard on the players list. One he loves sack. the game, and he shows it. Go, boys. Technique, hand placement footwork and then at the end of the day you know just the finish and the drive that he plays with makes him one of the best offensive linemen oh ever. my god i tell you what yeah i was gonna say that the one guy who would appreciate it more than most would be jonathan taylor Maybe you said anyways guys that brings us to the end of another video i really enjoyed that one in the next one we're looking at the super bowl winning quarterback that i don't know if he's ever i don't know if he's actually ever made the list he certainly hasn't whilst I've been reacting to it, but uh, this should be really interesting. You know, what a what a success story. What a You wouldn't call it a comeback story. He's 30, 33. He's an absolute veteran. But he's coming to a team with the firepower needed to uh, at least get a chance to make the big dance. Gets there, wins the Super Bowl. Legend. But we'll get into that in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace out.